Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. We're going to make a quilt block today, a churn dash quilt block. I have an old vintage quilt here full of that quilt block. I thought it'd be fun to hang that up and show you. A very simple block, so let's get started. This is what you're going to need for your quilt block, your churn dash quilt block. You'll need two squares, three inch squares of your focus fabric here. You'll need two three inch squares of the background fabric, mine is cream. You'll need a strip of your fabric for the block, one and a half inches by 11, and a strip of the background fabric, the same size, one and a half by 11. Take your squares, your three inch squares, put your background fabric on the right side of your focus fabric, and then a pencil and a ruler and draw a pencil line right through the center there. And I'll do the same on the other. And we will sew right along that line. We'll put the sewing machine foot right next to that drawn line. And then sew on the other side of that pencil line. This will give us two half square triangles. And then I'm going to cut right along that pencil line. I will do it again with this square. Then I'm going to put these two pieces together, right sides together, and sew a long seam right along the edge there. Quarter inch seam, that's what we always want to do when we're quilting. Now I'm going to go to my ironing board and I'm, I'm going to press all of these open and then we will trim them to the right size. So everything is pressed pretty good and now I'm going to trim my blocks to two and a half inches. After I have my half square triangles ready to go, I'm going to trim, cut this into subsets of two and a half inches as well. First, I'm going to take the edge off just to make that nice and straight. And I'm going to cut two and a half inch segments. And the last one, we made this a little bit too long so that we will have a little bit left over because we made this 11 inches long, that strip, those two strips were 11 inches long, just to give us a little wiggle room. And there's one more thing I forgot to tell you we need at the beginning. We are going to need, I bet you're guessing what we're going to need. We're going to need a centerpiece right here a cream background piece square right here, a two and a half inch square right here for the middle, and then we'll sew it all together. All right, now you can see we have all of our pieces ready to go. We just need to sit down and sew them together in rows, and then we'll sew the rows together. So if you have it all laid out correctly, all you have to do is sew them together again using your quarter inch seam. All right, my rows are together, and now I am going to get these seams together with a couple pins. I will push one seam this way and the other seam 
the opposite way so they kind of nest together. And we'll sew that together. And let's do the same with this one. We're almost to the finish line. There you have it. One churn dash block. All I need to do is press it and make a whole bunch more to make a quilt. Happy sewing, friends! <laughs>